Many people find air conditioning relief from something like this, a window air conditioner. You might place them strategically around a building, but they can be a bit of a pain in the neck to schlep in and out of the change of season, and they can be a security issue. But all basic air conditioners work on a simple principle. Heat always goes to cold in any direction. So inside of any air conditioner, there's two components. One is the evaporator and one is the condenser. The evaporator is cold, filled with really cold refrigerant. So in a window air conditioner like this, room air is drawn in by a fan, blown across the cold coil. The heat in the air that's in the room gets absorbed into that cold refrigerant. Heat goes to cold. Now, the heat that's now in the refrigerant gets sent out through a compressor to a condenser. Now that condenser gets really hot. So what happens is the fan now sends outside air across that and what does it do? It dumps the heat that used to be in the building to outside. So window air conditioning has been around for a long time but clearly the trend in the world is to go to a thing called a split, a mini split. So all that does is it takes the two components that used to be in this box, the evaporator and the condenser, and splits them apart. This part stays inside the building, this part goes to outside, and they connect by refrigerant line sets to inside and outside. So where do you put the outside condenser though? Look at this urban environment right here. Narrow sidewalk right here, you can't put it right there. This side has the parking, so there's no place on this side because of the cars. What do you do? This is a two-family house, and we're concentrating on putting air conditioning into just the first floor. You look around, it's really tight. The parking is right here. You worry about snow drifts. The only real backyard anybody has is right here, so you wouldn't want to put the condenser here if you could help it. And the unit is about three feet by two feet. So they make a bracket that would allow us to actually think about putting it right up here on the wall, up above people's heads, and they're really quiet. You know what we'll do? We'll probably mount it right here and leave a space right here, because I'll bet you the second floor owner will want to actually have air conditioning after they see the first floor. So that puts the outdoor unit, the condenser, the evaporator we have to place inside the building. All right, so we're looking for a spot to mount our inside unit here on the first floor. Living room's right here, kitchen's right here. This dining room is a good central location. Now many people might put that unit on the outside wall for convenience, but it means you have to run the line sets exposed on the outside of the building, and that doesn't always look that good. What I'd like to do is to put it right here in the central location on this wall above this picture high. And the reason is right here. Look at this. There's a master closet right here that is perfect for us to be able to mount it, run those lines right here. It's gonna have a line set, a condensate drain electrical wire right down here. We're going to hide it somehow to the basement. That is the plan. Now it's time to get to work. So this is not a small job and it's not a do-it-yourself job. So we've enlisted the help of a local HVAC contractor. Joel's our mechanic and Jorge is his apprentice. So here's our parts and pieces. This is the outdoor condensing unit. This is an inverter. This can actually deliver heat into a building even when it's really cold outside down to zero degrees. Here's that mounting bracket on the, that'll put on the back of the building that's going to allow us to hang it from the back. Just throw me that line set, would you? So here's our refrigerant line set. This is, you can see right here, it's a copper lines that have refrigerant in it that's insulated because the lines can get really cold or hot. And have a pair of these to run the refrigerant between the inside and the outside unit. Thank you, Jorge. Here's the drain. Anytime you do air conditioning, one of the net products is water that comes out of the humidity that comes out of the air, and that's condensate, and that'll go to a drain. Here's our electrical wiring that'll send line voltage and control wiring to the inside unit. And here's our inside unit. Perfect. All right? So that's going to mount in our dining room, and that's where we're going to start, right? To get started, Joel's going to mount the unit on the wall. This involves securing the bracket to the wall and marking for where the different connections will go. He can then drill the holes to run the electrical, the refrigerant line sets, and the condensate drains. All right, all right, now you can pull the line set. He'll start by the inside unit and continue on the inside of the closet and down into the basement. Now we can hang our inside unit on the wall bracket. 
Plenty of things going on down here. Electricians, Liam and Justin are running new line from the panel all the way to the condenser out back. Now we presented right down here, right at the center, and you can see here's going our condensate line. Now we're going to run this line right along the side of the joist with pitch and let the water, that condensate, drip to outside without a pump. Let gravity do its job. You can see right here, the line sets showed up perfectly right here and it allows us to go just on the other side of the center stick. All right, so line set comes right down on this side. Now we want to get a clip to make it look nicey-nice. Joel's got a clip. Good. So it clips all the way along here, make it look sweet right against the beam. Gentle bend. Here's the last of our line set. These two coils will be cut shorter. And now we just have to mount that condenser on the wall bracket outside here. They use a special wall bracket that is mounted to the outside of the building for the condenser. They utilize blocking behind the bracket to protect the vinyl siding. How you doing? Now, they can mount the condenser up onto that wall bracket and make the final connections. Snug her up. All right, we are getting near the finish line. We've got our unit hung. We've got refrigerant line set connections made, and we've got electrical out here. So we've got 220 volts with a service uh, switch right here. Surge protector, great thing to have. Uh, service outlet right here for plugging in an extension cord or service tool. Now, we've got the electrical connections made. There's printed circuit boards here. This connection is really important to be watertight, which we've done. But now, before we add the refrigerant, we have to be sure that it's absolutely clean inside the line sets. So they add nitrogen. A charge of nitrogen goes in and pressurizes the system to be sure there's no leaks. And then this vacuum pump that you hear right now will keep on pulling, 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 pulling a vacuum to evacuate all the air out of the lines, any impurities, and all the nitrogen before the refrigerant is added. We're getting there. So here's our new unit, all connected. It really blends into the room. Now you control it a variety of ways. One is with a remote like this. You set the temperature you want. You can set the adjustment of the vanes and have timers. But you also can control it by your phone with Wi-Fi. And it's smart enough to diagnose itself and tell you what's going on if anything goes wrong. Now, this was not a small job. It, it never is. It took a full crew an entire day to do it. And the prices can vary depending on the size of the unit, the number of units, how much it takes to get it installed into a building, and the electrical demands you're going to have. But it is worth it. This is a way you can get quiet, comfortable cooling, dehumidification, and heating in a really efficient package. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.